Good morning, welcome to the journey to Jerusalem every morning on Highway 60. And it's, uh, <laughs> well, it's a journey I guess people have all over the world every, every morning with traffic and construction and all the things that happen on the road. The rabbis call the road Rishuta Arabim, the, the, the zone of the multitude. Right, the multitude, <laughs> but in Kabbalah talk, the Rishut Rabbi means it's the place that the that the other side has an open carte blanche, right? An open card, and it's a dangerous place, and we see it out there on the road every day, cars mangled, and ambulances screaming, and it's really, I wish, God willing, someday the human race will, will all drive peacefully to work. <laughs> Or maybe, maybe we won't have to. I'm not sure. It will all be telepathic work. Whatever it is, uh, an idea just hit me. That's just so great idea. I don't, you know, I can't take credit. But the, the rabbis, we always give them credit. And the rabbis said, "Ain't been David Ba, Ella, she ha leva banim karev leva avot va leva avot." that the Mashiach the Messiah won't come until the fathers return their hearts to the sons and the sons return their hearts to the fathers so it sounds like the simple interpretation is that we got a huge generation gap here a huge generation gap and uh, that our fathers and sons are far from us. And that hurts. Okay, we've been dealing with it for, I don't, for <laughs> I don't know how many thousand years. But there's another way to understand it. That Ben David, the Mashiach, he comes, he arrives. His power, the Yuchud, the power of the unification... It comes through when the sons cause the fathers to get their hearts back. And when the fathers cause their sons to get their hearts back. And I experienced this firsthand with my father and with my son. That my son gave me a heart again. Now you can say, well, that's very nice. You woke up one morning and you loved your children. That that's, doesn't seem too uh, amazing, but it, actually, of course, it is. But I know that, that my son caused me to get my heart back, not only for him, but for Avodot Hashem, for serving God, for, for doing the work, the daily grind of of learning and praying and arguing and writing and you know putting together something of a, of, a, of a Torah life and then I see that my father the first time I told him I love him he told me he loved me you know what that is after 60 years or whatever so that I think is a, a deeper understanding of this wisdom of the rabbis that that this, the generation gap will be healed when we get our hearts back for others because of the others. Not because I sat and meditated until my heart opened. That does happen. But I hope this is a worthwhile thing to think about and, and turn over in your mind and in your heart. And God should bless us all to return to our fathers and our sons. And God bless you all and have a great day. And we'll see you again. All the best.